So the QRS axis is referring to the amplitude and direction that an impulse is going through the heart. So for example, um, typically impulses start at the upper right-hand side of the heart, the sinoatrial node, go down to the lower left to the AV node and then to, in, and then through the ventricle. Um, the axis is showing this direction. So um, to calculate the axis, I usually use one of a couple of methods. When I teach it, I teach two methods. The first method is what I call my graph method, where I use uh, two leads, lead one, which is horizontal, and lead AVF, which is vertical. I then calculate the amplitude and direction of the QRS complex in lead one, and then I calculate the amplitude and direction of the QRS complex in lead AVF, put that together on a graph, and that gives us a axis. The second method that I'll use is what's called the isoelectric method. So I look for a lead that is isoelectric. Isoelectric means that it's the same amplitude going up and down on an ECG. Um, once I have that, I know that the impulse is perpendicular to that lead, and then I can calculate the axis based on those leads.